This is the Business of Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. Tell me about satisfying customers' demands and how do you approach customer service? What are some of the things that you found that have worked well in communicating with your customers and building a relationship with them? Um, I, I would say our customers, even the ones who have needs that we can't meet, they still feel satisfied because we're always honest and sincere. Um, you know, we try to temper expectations and we do go above and beyond. I actually used to work at Disney in my college years. So I kind of have that, like you do whatever you can for the customer mindset. So we do bend over backwards where we can, even for very specific requests or things like that. And then a lot of our customers, because they've been with us for so long, just kind of know, like, even if it, they want something, you know, we tried our best or, you know, if we can make it happen, they're not terribly upset because they know. And then, you know, we do other little things, like if we have times when items go out of stock and, you know, whatever, we'll, we'll send them email and say, you know, unfortunately that item isn't around anymore, but we do so much value, you know, your business, here's a free shipping code. Like we just, you know, really value your loyalty and the fact they keep coming back for more. And they, they tend to be pretty happy with stuff like that. That's great. Thanks for sharing that. So, so what are some of the key marketing initiatives that work for you? I, I would imagine that, that social is an important element for you, but what are some other, the other channels that have just been really powerful for you? Um, because fashion is so visual, uh, we do do well on like Pinterest and stuff like that too. Um, really, it's so funny, but really most of it is just the social, even just the word of mouth, Facebook is insanely powerful. Um, it's almost more powerful. <laughs> we ha- we have a whole group of customers that came in from a gr- like a whole Facebook group that we didn't even know about. It's actually wow. called the Physician, yeah, the Physicians Moms Group. And two years ago, you know, it's in our profile. Like, how did you hear about us? And two years ago, and we had like a day where we just had like 50 moms come in from PMG. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is, you know, what is this PMG? And um, I just called one of the customers and I said, oh, you know, I'm so sorry. This is Elena from Mama's Milk Box. And, you know, we're so excited you just joined us. But I'm sorry, what's PMG? And she told me and she said, I guess one of our customers, because we didn't even know, um, had gotten a box and took all these pictures and posted it in the group. And it's a very big group. It had about 50,000 moms in it. So. That was like a huge, that was one of those times where we're like, oh my gosh, the new girls and I were like, how are you going to fill all these boxes? I love seeing products that have, have the quality where it's got organic value to it. We, we spend, and again, I have a marketing company here. We spend so much time uh, doing promotions and click throughs and paper call and all these different ads, but when it, nothing can substitute a good product and the viral value when someone believes in it and starts to share it with their network. To hear full episodes of the Business Leadership Series, visit blsnow.net.